Okay, so what we know, based on Kriyana Nakayama in 1987, is by three year olds, three years old, children seem to have some very specific constraints on hypotheses about word order in particular, how they form complex yes-no questions in English. And the rules for this seem to depend on linguistic structure. Okay, great, right? That's a specific type of generalization. So the question is, how do children choose the right rule from all the possible rules that are compatible with the input they actually get, right? Which is usually very simple input compatible with lots of different generalizations. How do they generalize the right way? How do they get to the green circle from the subset of the data that they encounter and avoid stuff out here, right? And out here. How do they do that, right? That's your poverty of the stimulus. That's your induction problem. And so the answer, again, is that they have some kind of prior knowledge to help guide their inferences. And the question is, where did this knowledge come from, right? So one answer is that if they learned it from prior language experience, we would call this prior linguistic knowledge, right? Your experience with the language has led you to infer certain types of constraints that get cashed out here as you having certain ideas about the rules for yes-no question formation. Great. If, however, it turns out that that prior knowledge happens to be innate, right? So if the prior knowledge was innately available, somehow encoded in the structures that lead to the brain development, that lead to the mind, then this would be the position of the nativist. That prior knowledge is, in fact, innate knowledge. And in fact, if children knew it innately, and specifically the knowledge turns out to be language knowledge that they knew innately, then we would call it innate linguistic knowledge. And this is the position of the linguistic nativist. So their names are rather helpful, right? Nativist should mean innate knowledge is assumed, right? It's not just derived from prior language experience. In fact, it's innately encoded somehow. And if it happens to be linguistic in nature rather than being domain general, rather than being useful for other things besides language, then we say that this is the position of the linguistic nativist. So innate knowledge that is in fact linguistic.